Guys, feast your eyes on probably one of the most popular dirt bikes of all time. Certainly one of my favorites. Do you have the mic, George? One of, like I said, one of my all-time favorite motorcycles for a lot of good reasons. And if it was good for the king of Supercross himself, Jeremy McGrath, it's it's certainly good enough for you or me. Uh, this is a 1994 CR250, one of the last years of the steel frame. In fact, this was uh, the most probably the best handling and most winning 250 of its era. And certainly Jeremy dominated 93, 94, 95, and 96. He ran this chassis until 97 when Honda went to the first generation aluminum and he actually quit Honda and uh, joined the, the Suzuki team because the Suzuki was kind of a replica of the Honda, i.e. A, a steel frame like this one. And, and for good reason, these things handle absolutely freaking amazing. They're bulletproof, they're very fast. This is a very, very special bike. Starting with the engine, this is a 260cc big bore engine. This is Mark Scalzi's CR250. He, if you follow our channel, we have good friends with the Scalzi family. His kids are on the team uh, racing uh, the, the gas gas bikes. In fact, he traded in one of his bikes on two new gas gases this year. And uh, this was his personal motorcycle, one of many that he had that he sold to uh, fund his racing effort. But in any event, the engine's been completely rebuilt. It's taken right down to the crank. New crank, new crank seals, new crank bearings. The top end is brand new with a, a uh, 260cc big bore piston. The ports were cleaned up. It's got a key in carb with a twin air filter and a uh, full exhaust system on it, including the Gold Series FMF gnarly pipe and the FMF Power Core 2 silencer aluminum. That's a gold, they call it the Gold Series. It's got like the uh, gold coating on it or uh, platinum coating. In any event, um, motor's all redone, and the thing hauls ass. It's got a lot of torque. It's a good, it's a good off-road slash woods motor with the big bore on it. It, uh, it, it just pulls from down low, at low, as evidenced by my low RPM wheelies up the driveway. Uh, the whole bike's been gone through. Not only was the engine completely rebuilt, Mark said he had about five rides on this motor, so um, it's still very, very fresh. The chain and sprockets are new. It's got a new gold chain and sprocket. The wheels, these are the original wheels on the bike. Uh, laced with the uh, new Dunlop Sports D952 front and rear tires and tubes. And the brakes were totally redone. In fact, the brake system on this bike is off of a, a modern Honda CRF, as is the whole front end. Then take a look at these clamps right here. The Emic triple clamps, we just priced the set for a, a CR500 to convert to Olin's because that's what we bought the last two sets from them. They raised the price. They were at like 560. It's 800 bucks for a set of these triple clamps now. And this is a modern uh, uh, CRF Shawa fork, which is what the factory bikes ran back in the day. Uh, something similar to this. So oversized aluminum triple clamps with a, a modern CRF Shawa Honda fork from the, from the teens. I think they're like a 2014. The uh, brake system is, is off the CRF. It has new pads and new Galfer brake line, as you can see down here, the Galfer logo. So new front fender, new front number plate, and all the controls are new. It has a new set of Renthal bars, uh, new ODI grips. It's got a new Pro Taper quick adjust. So when you're doing the knack-knack over the triple and pulling your tear off, you just give a quick adjust to your clutch and you're good to go. It's got the Jeremy McGrath signature on the, on the uh, graphics. It's a full 1-800 collect. Same graphics he ran on his bike that year. Thou 1-800 collect, see what happens. I don't know if that number works anymore, but that's uh, that's what I ran on my bike for the last four years. I thought it was cool, so uh, that's what we did on this one. It's got the original Honda style seat cover, brand new seat cover, brand new side panels, brand new rear fender, brand new carbon fiber, uh, gas tank graphics on both sides. I mean, excuse me, uh, airbox graphics on both sides. Just a kick-ass piece. Some other nice pieces are the IMS. Pro Series pegs that have been polished, much bigger and nicer than the stock ones, a new aluminum shifter, a new factory racing Boyson ignition cover, uh, new fuel lines, new head bolt studs and hardware, new uh, GPI 
aluminum radiators with the new silicone red hoses these are oversized aluminum radiators so the whole cooling system has been gone through in addition to the engine being rebuilt new radiators new hoses the water pumps rebuilt it's super fresh and ready to go forks have been redone the shocks been redone um mark had about five rides on it and it, and it looks runs sounds and feels like a brand new motorcycle let's take a look at this side over here this side has the boyson factory racing clutch cover uh, you can see the water pump and, and clutch gaskets. Everything's been replaced on it. The, the engine was completely dismantled. The new clutch was installed also when they did the, the engine build. Um, that's about it, folks. It's, it's all there. Oh, the frame rails. These are glide plates that were welded onto the, the standard frame rails right here where they normally get caved in. So um, that's going to keep... These are, these are really super thin steel frame rails. And that's a, the, um, a good way to protect... The frame that was done by the previous owner that Mark got it from. So both sides has the frame rail plates on it, which is nice. Keep them from getting dented in. It'll glide right over rocks and stuff like that if you do take it off-road. So original brake brake system on the rear. Uh, IMS peg again. Uh, new rear brake pads. She's um she's ready to go, man. If you have any questions about us, about it, give us a call. 860-454-7024. It looks like a new bike, it runs like a new bike, and it's fast as hell like a new bike. In fact, Put a, any local pro on this, and they'd be very competitive at the uh, local pro, local amateur level on this bike against the new bikes because they, they handle great. They're super lightweight. They're easy to work on. Engines are easily rebuilt. And this one's got the big bore 260 in it, so you got a little little extra boost coming off the off the line for the whole shot. So if you have any questions, give us a call. We have in-house financing. We'll ship this thing anywhere in the country for you. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.